Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about how we use a tool called uh, OnShape Robotics Toolkit to get our CAD model from OnShape to URDF and then simulate that URDF on Arbus and verify that it works. So this, this is like a basic step which we need to create any simulations on like Gazebo or any other uh, simulation platform. The base is that you need a URDF and URDF creation can be uh, hard and difficult. This process helps you to go faster and make sure that your URDF is as you need based on your CAD model. So right now we are on Onshape and now we have a CAD model which has a no assembly relations and no materials assigned. So those are the two main things which we would need for the software to convert an, a CAD model to a URDF. So you can see that I have already added some of the relations. Uh, so each of them were separate parts like this. All of these were individual parts. We need to give a relation of each part with respect to other and this can be done by either a fast end joint which means both are fixed together or a revolute joint which means it rotates so these are uh, the two things which you would need uh, to mainly set up this robot uh, so this is like a two wheel robot so all of these things which rotate are set as revolute joint once you go ahead and set all these features uh, then what I would do is to set up the material so this is required because you need to get the mass and also the inertia for each of these parts um, so to do that what you can do is that you go to edit in context and in that you can go and apply edit material so over here then you can add the material you want and then it will give you uh, the mass the inertia for those parts so these are the two things you should ensure before you run the software to convert this CAD model to URDF so this is the software I'm using for converting uh, the CAD model to URDF. It's called Onshape Robotics Toolkit. Over here, uh, you can see there are good documentation, and I I used the documentation to set it up. So I would recommend you to go through the getting started, uh, which explains how you get uh, different keys from Onshape so that you can make API calls. Um, so I would recommend to you to go through this one. And then the tutorials, the exporting URDF explains how uh, you can exp export an, uh, an assembly from Onshape as an URDF. Uh, so I would recommend you to go through this as well. So this would give you a good understanding of how the software works. So once you have a good understanding of how the software works, you can see how I uh, set it up for this Cocoon Express uh, uh, robot which I am trying to create so you can see that I have created a package URDF package and in this package I have uh, set up a source file and under the source file I have all the necessary details so before I get into this the most important thing is this on shape key and this has to be taken from the Onshape website, like how when you follow the tutorial, as I said. Uh, once this is there, then we can set up this Python code, which uses those keys to extract uh, all the models. And uh, it helps to set up the URDF. So you have to fill in all the all these details, like the log file name, uh, the URL of the assembly, the name, uh, and it's just like how I did here to get the whole uh, bunch. And make sure your uh, path to the environment is set correctly. 
or else it will not work. So once you get run this Python code, it will generate all these files. It will generate a JSON, log, PNG, and it will also generate this mesh file over here, which will have all the uh, different STL files. And it will also give an um, URDF, which you can see here um, as a part of the script. So now we have the URDF and all the meshes which uh, are required. We can now dive into the ROS2 aspects where we use this URDF in a launch file and then get it running on RVS. So in order to do that, there were some things which the software, uh, whatever uh, URDF was generated by the software needed to be changed uh, for it to work well with RVS. Um, so some things which I added was uh, one, the path, which it says like the mesh central body, uh, this was not working quite well. So in order to get that working, what I would, what I did was to use, so you can see instead of meshes, I, uh, replaced it with package URDF uh pack meshes and central body so this this will make sure you're at the root of the package and then you go to the respective package name meshes and then the the stl file uh, this is more a standard way to get the stl files than that uh, so this was one thing which you need to do uh, and another thing was to add a, a fixed stationary link uh, because that would be needed um, for RVS um, so that it doesn't throw out any error. So here I used base link, uh, which you can see here. And then I link that with the first um, link, which is like the base link here. It is a central body one. And I have put up a joint here, which is basically connecting the base link with the central body and it's a fixed link and based on how you want it to appear with respect to the uh, origin system on the RVIS, you can use uh, XYZ and roll pitch here to uh, rotate it to the direction how you want it. So now we have done with the URDF and now we'll look into the launch file. So you create a folder, uh, another folder called launch, and then inside I'm naming it as urdfc launch.py. Um, so for that, what you would do is to import the basic uh, libraries, uh, what you need, uh, and then you use the, uh, you create the launch file. And the launch file, you would set up the name and the package name so that you can create the path which is done here and then you use robot state publisher node so you you're um, you're running this node and for this node what uh, what is necessary is the name of the package the executable name and uh, the name of the node uh, and also you need to pass on some parameters which are like the sim time and then robot description so this one uh, picks the robot description path which we created here and then it would display uh, the robot description on the respective topic and here we uh, launch this node which we are uh, setting up so in this way you would have uh, the robot description on the part on the uh, required topic apart from the launch file what else we would need to change is the CMake list. So make sure you have a uh, Zacro in it and then you have URDF. Uh, so these two packages are required. And also in your install, um, make sure that you have all these uh, individual directories, which are URDF, launch, meshes, uh, config, RVIS. So these are the different um, directories you can see here and I'm adding this so that the CMake can access them. Uh, so that's what this does. 
and then uh, in the package XML um, you would need to add depend URDF depend sacro I'm not going to go deep into this it should be for the next video and then you will set up uh, test depend and also build type and then see make these are for uh, testing um, and once you have set up these two um, the CMake and package XML, you are uh, ready for uh, callcon build and one and then you can test it using Arvis. So as we are ready to build the package so we can go ahead and uh, go to the respective directory and do a callcon build. So once you don't have any error that means you're good to go with respect to the package and uh, you can source install um, once you are done with source install you can run rvis2 so rvis2 will be on top uh, will come on top and then once you have rvis2 what you would do is to go ahead and source it source this uh, thing and then you will run your um, urdf.launch.py so once that's good uh, we can see that so this would be publishing all of these uh, different parts to the topic uh, but you won't see anything on Arvis in the beginning uh, that's because you have to set the fixed frame to the correct link which is the base link so that will clear these errors and then you need to add uh, a robot model here and for the robot model it needs a topic so that topic should be robot description and once that's there you hit ok and then you would see that your cocoon express is actually there but you can see some of the uh, things which are not there at the correct place and which are those items those are those items which have a revolute joint so how to fix that is to use a uh, joint state publisher um, so we can use source install setup dot bash uh, and run cross run joint state publisher GUI and run state publisher GUI uh, suppose if you don't have this you might need to install joint state publisher um, so you can install by using sudo apt install uh, but once you have this you will see that everything is on spot like how it needs to be and um, the joint state publisher would help you to control each one of them so you can see that uh, it's all moving how it needs to be and uh, this joint state publisher is what will send some initial value so that it can go to the correct location and stay there if it's not there then it will not be able to spawn that particular item at that spot so with this you are in a good state that your urdf is working and you can progress to go and simulate on gazebo hope you like the video and you learned how to get a URDF quite easily uh, to set up any of your simulations. If you like this video, I would encourage you to hit a like or subscribe to support me in this endeavor. I will try my best to put a video every week on robotic related content.